all workflows work in Folderit. So you can start an approval of documents in two ways. One is to just locate the file, click on it, and click on Start Approval Workflow. So if I want to send this particular file to, to approval, then I can do it here. I, I clicked on Start Approval Workflow. I can choose if it's a parallel or serial mode. And parallel means that all the people that I invite to approve will receive the invitation at the same time and it really doesn't matter who approves first, who is second and so on. In serial mode it is very important to add the people in the right order. So right now I have added folderit at folderit.com which is the same account I'm logged in with. And the system has already sent out invitation to this uh, person to approve the document. And now if I add another one like John, click invite, you can see that this dot here is, is empty. So it means that the system has not yet sent John this invitation because Folderit at Folderit has not approved the document yet. And I can also toggle on this move after approval and I can click here to look for a folder where I want this document to be moved after it is completely approved. All right, so now this folder at the folder.com has received an email invitation to approve the document, but I can also see the indicator here. You can see a little one on top of the icon here. So I've, if I click here, I can see that there is one file that needs my approval. So let me click it, right? So this is the approvers view. I can download the file. I can preview the file. I can see what's it uh, about, right? I can see what is asked of me. Is this version okay? I can see who else is participating in this approval workflow and I can leave my, my comment. I can optionally attach a file to my decision and then I can either well, reject or approve it. In this case, I'm going to approve it. And you can see the report here. The status is approved. This was my decision was to approve it, but the file itself is not yet completely approved because now the system has sent the invitation to John and we are waiting for his approval too. Right. Okay, so this is how you manually, for one particular file, start approval workflow. If you want to automate a folder with approval workflow automation, then you, well, you create a folder. Like I have created two, two folders, folders here. One is approved documents and the other is documents for approval. If I click it, you can see that I've already added two files to this folder. And now I can click on approval on the toolbar to set up this folder level automation. I activate it. I add a resolution that will be the same for all the files in this folder. Is this okay? Okay. Again, I can choose between parallel and serial type and uh, using serial mode. I will put myself first here again and like that I can easily add more people to this approval workflow too and I can well, change their uh, sequence. But uh, what's important is that right now I'm uh, just going to leave myself to this workflow. So for the example it would be easier if I can completely approve and reject documents that my decision uh, counts, <laughs> right? Okay, again, I can toggle on the move after approval. I will click here and I will actually select approved documents as the destination. So once the file is completely approved, it is relocated to approved documents. And I can also choose if I want this automation to be applied to sub folders as well or, or only to uh, to this one. And when I click on create, you can see that 
we have now two yellow dots appearing in front of the files that were already here and when I click on one of them I can see in the audit log the approval workflow has started I can also click on view approval workflow to check out the details okay so this user has probably received approval request and indeed you can see this little two on the icon here indicates that I have two files that need my approval and now if I add files there or or anyone who has access to this folder adds a file there you can see it is automatically sent to the predefined approval all right so let's click on this indicator again we can see the three files that need my approval tax law was the last one right you can see the logic is the same but let's reject it no change everything see comments okay and now I'm gonna attach a file to my decision right so let's reject it and now yeah my decision was to reject it and the document is rejected not only because I'm the only one who participates in this workflow the only one who was asked about this but also in serial mode approval if anyone in the sequence rejects a document it is fully uh, rejected and the following people will not receive invitation to approve it anymore because it's already rejected okay so let's go to other documents for approval okay and now you can see that there is one document that is rejected and two with no decision yet and now if i click on the file and view approval workflow i can actually see the comment of course and i can see the file i can download the file from here that included more comments in this case and let's see let's say that i have made adjust adjustments i have changed well everything and now i want to upload a new version with fixes i click on upload new version i will choose a new file go back to the detail view and you can see that the other versions now includes the original file that was rejected but the current file the current version is automatically sent for another round of approval because I've made the fixes and the folder has automation so let's click here and on tax law mm -hmm. yes now it is okay let's approve it and the file is approved so let's go back to our others other folder and documents for approval and you can see that it only has two files here now well of course because one was was moved to approved documents folder as we set it up like that right if I go back to this view where I can see all the documents that need my approval there's actually a button to see the history of uh, my decisions so if I click here I can see all the files that I have be I have rejected or approved and I can see what is the, the final approval status too so even if I approved it maybe it was still rejected by by someone else so i can click here i can see the details mm -hmm. and also administrators everyone who has full account access uh, can see the dashboard here under admin tools and one of the tools here is pending approval list so it lists all the documents under the whole account right that uh, are in the middle of uh, approval workflow so not only the files I have two files that need my approval so not only are those listed here the ones here but 
all documents basically basically in my company that are in the middle of, of approval and we can also see who are we waiting for to to take action and this report like any other can be downloaded to your computer as well okay so this is this is how approval workflow works in Folderit and you can use it for anything for contract drafts or invoices, purchase orders, applications, so whatever it is, you can set up this folder level automation in any folder that you pick. So whatever it is, accounting, uh, maybe under human resources, we have vacation applications and now I click approval and I can activate this approval workflow here with another kind of resolution like mm, is this accepted right and now if uh, someone uploads a file uh, to this folder their application will go to the well the hr manager for example uh, for approval 